Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of Thursday, seeing as it's not Thursday, but instead it's Tuesday and I'm here at the Science Museum in London to celebrate Tim Peake's um, successful mission to the ISS where he'll be there for about six months I believe. So um, in order to celebrate I've done a special poem which will be coming shortly. I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible so that I don't cause too much interference. But yeah, see you soon in a few seconds. So if you want to know more about uh, Tim Peake, he's the first publicly funded um, British astronaut. Um, and it's been amazing to see how much the power of um, a group of people can bring about this amazing um, achievement. I mean, in the cynical age that we live in now, it's lovely to know that people are still excited about space travel. Um, to the extent that we can put someone on space with our own public funds. So it's wonderful to see this kind of group spirit. And I was actually <laughs> at the Stargazing Live, which I was not expecting, to be honest. But yeah, so hopefully you may see me in the audience. I'm probably the most excitable one there, probably. Uh, so here is the poem. It's very rushed, um, just to reflect on how I feel about space travel and why this is such an important thing. So here we go. Hey everyone, so this poem is called Life Cycles. We live life in cycles, trifles mixed with the foundations of the stifled and serious. In the series of events unfurled, curled by our gravity, seen by us as observers. We grow. Life in cycles. Learn rules about our lives, extensions through our bodies worn down by entropy made with constant need of food and fuel, oxygen for messages to be breathed forth, hierarchies built to prove our worth in a world that is constantly spinning out of our control. Working together is a cliché worth saying, where the whole of the world's surface lies out of reach of our knowledge. Ignorance leads to fear and hatred, the three tiers of the career CV of humanity. But this is about us, and more than us, superseding the media that seed our thoughts, telling us that this can't be done. That a drive to discover beyond the stars is long past. A start for us now, to pull resources and skills for the will to further our grasp, from our baby steps of organisms. Our clasp to gravity, to the release of what could be for all the more. It could shape and reassess our humanity, one step beyond. Thank you very much for tuning in yet again. Um, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you would like to um, uh, subscribe, he wants you to subscribe, um, please uh, click down here. Okay, thank you very much again and see you on Thursday. Signing off and bye. Woo.